Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade goulash with homemade mashed potatoes made from scratch. We're going to be starting off with some whole white onions. Peel and wash them. And then we're going to be chopping up our onions and putting them in a pot with oil. You're going to need sirloin steak tips. I use two packages of beef because I have a big family, but you can use however much you want. This is a good choice for beef because it's high quality and it cooks fast. Cut up the beef into slices and put it on top of the onions. Saute them together. Mix it around and this is the process of the beef and the onions starting to cook. Eventually the onions and the beef will release some water that has to all cook together. Place the lid on top and let it simmer slowly on medium heat. Let this cook on the stove top over medium heat and the water will eventually start to evaporate. Let's get started on our mashed potatoes. I'm going to be using some gold potatoes, peeling them and chopping them up into small pieces. Here I'm showing you how the water is eventually, slowly starting to evaporate. Cut up your potatoes into cubes and place them in a pot and boil them until fork tender. Here you can see all of the water has evaporated and just the oil is remaining. This is when we're going to add our spices. We're going to add some vegeta to taste, about two tablespoons of paprika, and we're gonna add black pepper to our meat. Here's our black pepper, our vegeta to taste, and two tablespoons of red paprika. And I mix it around thoroughly as it's cooking. Once you've placed the spices onto the meat, we're going to add a splash of water so that the meat can continue to cook and our goulash can thicken up. Allow the goulash to cook on low slowly and thicken up and the meat will continue to cook here our potatoes are boiling and we're going to make sure that they're fork tender before we mash them now you're going to see the progression of the goulash and how it's slowly thickening This right here is the exact thickness that I like the goulash at. I don't like it too watery or too thick. This is perfect for me. Once you can get a fork through your potatoes, drain them and then put them back into the pot. This is the butter that we're gonna be using today. It's Kerrygold Irish butter. Place some right on top of the hot potatoes and mash with a masher. Add about five tablespoons of whole milk into the mashed potatoes. Then I'm going to be using a mixer to mix it up and make the potatoes fluffy. And also adding salt. Now 
this is the finished product enjoy and please subscribe to my channel